Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and I'm starting a new experiment, and it is going to be the project that I've sort of been thinking about for a while here, which is to put all of my largest worms together and see if I can't manage to make a bigger, better composting worm, or at least skew the genetics in the direction of uh, larger worms. Might work, might not. I don't really know what the uh, genetic flexibility of composting worms is, but uh, what I've done here is I've taken the big worms that I have found recently, and uh, I've been sorting them out of all the different bins. And so for the most part, we've got European night crawlers that are, in general, um, longer, you know, uh, heavier, <clears throat> in some way healthier. Um, and I'm going to. There's 50 of them in here that I've that I've picked out, that are the biggest ones I've got across all of my bins. So I'm going to put them in this mortar tray and I'm going to leave them be. So. Just to uh, weed out, I know that uh, they, worms can retain, there's a blue, you don't go in there. Uh, worms can retain the genetic material of a coupling for quite some time. So for the first three months, I'm going to take all of the cocoons and young worms that I find and put them in a different bin and grow them up to see if they are going to be titans or not. And if I understand it, they get to their maximum size in about a half a year. So this is going to be a long-term experiment. And um, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, to my knowledge, as I'm picking through these things here, um, let me know if you see anything you don't believe is a European nightcrawler. Um, there's some of them that are pretty red that I'm, I wonder if they're just really large red wigglers, but I'm probably 80% confident that these are European night crawlers. And, uh, so the plan is what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these 50 worms in here to hang out and do what worms do. You know, when I'm looking, when I'm not looking, they don't appear to be bashful at all. So, that's the plan. These worms here, these 50 worms, I'm going to grow up to have a titan population of compost worms. So, all of the young worms and cocoons are going to go into a different bin for the next six months. I'm thinking that that should definitely cycle through whatever they have retained. It's a pretty carbon-rich material here. This is um, leaves, cardboard, obviously some paper. You see the color specs in here. But it has a lot more um, wood chips and leaves in its components than it does paper. And uh, I actually don't think there's much of any core in here at all. So that is the plan. Let me know what you think about it. Um, let me know if you think that six months is, is long enough to make sure that all of the worms that I have, when they're reproducing, they're using each other as a resource for genetic material and not whatever they may have stored up in the past. I've just, that's what I've read is that they can retain for six months. So if you've heard anything else, let me know. Let me know if you've ever done anything similar to this. Um, and uh, as always, I invite all of your questions and comments and um, constructive criticism. And I really appreciate all of my subscribers, which as of last night, has been a hundred. So I've made a hundred. I am super stoked about that. Never really thought that anybody would be interested in my ramblings or musings on plants and worms. So um, it's nice to know there's a 
fair few of uh, like-minded individuals out there. Makes me happy. All right, well, let me know if, uh, as I said before, if you have any other questions, please uh, hit that like button, um, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and uh, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. I will see you guys later. Have a good night.